what is query duplicate and what is query reference in power query editor in power bi hi i am m asif hussain from nohab academy in this video we are going to see what is meant by query duplicate what is meant by query reference and what is the difference between query duplicate and query reference so let me give you a real time example so in this video we have a data set called orders now we as a power bi developers we should be very careful with the data what we are handling with now in this point i would like to focus you few things so whichever the data we have received from the client always remember that we have to create a copy of that particular data set we are not allowed to do any sort of changes to the original data that we have received from the client this is very important so any data though it might be the data that you might have received from an excel data source you might have received it from sql server you might have received it from azure you might have received it from csv file you might have received it from snowflake you might have received it from any sort of data set or any sort of data source you have you might get it we are not allowed to do any sort of changes to the original data set that we have received from the client this we have to be very careful in it now we in order to do the transformations in order to do the data modeling part it is very important that we have to go and touch the data and do some sort of changes this this is very clear now in order to do these changes in order to do these all uh, parameters that we want like to do the modeling part transformation part and all we need to create a copy of it and from that we have to start preparing a project or we have to start preparing the transformations in power query editor you use dax functions you use whatever you might be here in this particular aspect at this point i'll guide you how to create a copy of a particular data set or the data that you have here there are two keywords that i would like to talk about now you can call it as a table you can call it as a data when you try to extract the data from the different data sources into power bi when it is in power bi desktop now the table or the data that you extract and drag and keep it in the power bi desktop when you try to transform it we call this as query once the table or the data that comes into power query editor we call it as a query we don't call it as a table we don't call it as a data now as you can see on the data set we have two queries campaign data and orders query now this is the original data that i have received from the client now the point is that i have to create a copy of it how should i do this one so as soon as we click on the particular query which is orders please do the right click and as soon as you do a right click you will get an option called duplicate so once i click on duplicate i'll get another query by orders 2 now what i'm going to do i am going to rename this one so i'll right click again and i'll click on rename so i'll rename it to orders which is a duplicate table that i have created now what i'm going to do i am going to create another query with reference to my original table that is orders now i am going to click on orders table i'll right click it and i'll create a reference of it so i'll click a reference of it now what i'm going to do i am again clicking on right click rename or you can double click on it it's up, up to you now what i'm going to do i'm going to rename this particular query as reference i'm going to rename it as reference any sort of name you would like to rename you can rename it it is up to your own choice now it is easy for me to understand that's the reason i have considered as query or orders is my original table orders dup which is a duplicate table that i have created and it is a reference table that i have created now what is the difference between these two tables what is the difference between duplicate and reference table a duplicate table will create a copy of an original table let me give you a real time example we all might have used a xerox machine right or we might have gone to a xerox shop and there we have used our xerox machine in order to create a copy of a papers that we would like to now i have a paper okay i have an original paper i go to xerox shop 
I tell to the Xerox shop person that give me five copies of this original paper. So what he will do? He will Xerox it and give five copies. So original copy is separate, five copies are separate. So in the same way, if I would like to do any print or if I'd like to get out any printout or any Xerox in my own home with that if I have, then what I'll do, I will scan it and I will get the printout of it, right? So now the point is that when we are trying to do the Xerox of an original paper, will the data or the will the information which is there written or printed on the original paper, will it get changed in the Xerox copies? This you have to think. Will it change in the Xerox copies the information or the data that we have from the original paper? It will not be changed in the Xerox copies. It is just a copy of an original paper. It is just a copy of an original paper. This is the white paper. This is also the white paper. The same thing. But from the original paper, you had made multiple printouts for your own use. Right? So in the same way, the duplicate table that we have created, it is also the same. The original table that I have orders, I am creating a copy of it. That's where we call it as a duplicate. That's where we call it as a duplicate. I have created a duplicate of it. Now, what all the changes I would like to do, I will not do in this main table. I will obviously do in this duplicate table. So what all the changes? So for, from this, I can understand one thing. When I create a copy of any table and start doing changes in it, my original data that I have received from the client, my original query is safe. The data that I have received from the client or customer, the query is safe. No, there is there is no harm to it now. It's secure. So what are the things that I would like to do? What are the transformations I would like to do? What are the modeling I would like to do? I will do it in the duplicate table itself. It will not get affected in the main table. So let me show it to you. For example, I would like to remove this order, uh, this row ID column. So I'll right click it and I'll remove it. I'll remove this row ID column. So I don't want this row ID column for me in order to prepare a proper report in order to understand as a business perspective as a Power BI developer, row ID information is something which is not useful for me. So I'll remove it and I have removed it from the duplicate table that I have created. All right. So now if we try to see from the original table orders from the original query orders, the row ID column is still existing. But what all the changes I have done, I have done it in a duplicate table. So that is the difference between a main table and a duplicate table. So what all the changes we would like to do, we can do it in a duplicate table. It means that it is creating just a copy of an original table. So there's a difference between main and original table, uh, original table and duplicate table. Now, let me uh, tell you to the next one. Reference. What is the reference? Reference is nothing but what all the things that we are trying to link up, we are linking up with the main table. What I'm going to do, what all the things that I have in the main table, I am creating a link, I'm creating a reference with the another query that I have created. So what all the things that we are trying to do in the original table, it will get affected in the reference table. So what all the modifications we are going to do in the main table, it is going to get in the uh, get affected in the reference table so but the main purpose in the real time when we are working the main purpose for example you have two data sets let me consider that you have a product table and you have orders table okay we have a product table and orders table or a product query or an order query so if you would like to create a reference to this one then what you can do by creating a reference to the product table or by creating a reference to the orders table, you can combine these two tables. You can combine these two tables and you can add multiple columns from these two different tables and get into one. So that is the biggest advantage where we create references. So most of the reference tables that we try to create, we try to create in order to make a combination a combine between the two tables in order to get multiple columns and informations into one so that's where reference is uh, playing an important role for example now what i'm going to do i have a column here uh, let me consider a column such as okay so i have a postal code column i have a postal code column in this postal code column i do not want it see i here here i am in an original query called orders so i don't want it so i right click this one and try to remove the postal code column 
So let us check it out whether it is getting affected in the reference query also or not. So in the original query, my uh, postal code column is removed. So now let me come and see it in the reference query. So I have a row ID, order ID is there, order date is there shipment date is there ship mode is there customer id is there customer name is there segment is there country column is there city column is there state column is there region column is there product id column is there but if you can see the postal code column is not there it got removed as we have removed the postal code column from the original query orders so as we have created a link between these two tables the postal code column is automatically got deleted from the reference query that we have created so this is how a duplicate and reference will work now most of the times most of the times there is a concept called schema there is a concept called schema in power bi so in order to create a star schema in order to create a snowflake schema so this duplicate and reference will play an important role for any developer in order to merge join append do or two more more than two tables and make it into one and get the desired result or the desired outcome as per the data set and as per the client requirement that we have so that's where this duplicate and reference play an important role so this is the way how we have to use duplicate and reference and for different use cases so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning